What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a back to school shopping and capsule wardrobe for your kids. I will teach you how to make a capsule wardrobe so getting ready for school will be less crazy and so much easier this school year. As a homeschool mom of four, I need to do whatever I can, and I mean whatever, to make things easier for me throughout the school year. There's only so much I have to give, okay? <laughs> I'm doing a whole back to school series here on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you guys are notified and don't miss anything in this series. Also, if you feel like depositing some positive energies into the universe, give your girl a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. It helps out my channel. So if you wanna learn how to put together a back to school kids capsule wardrobe to make things easier for you during this school year, then just keep watching. Okay, it's wardrobe time. My favorite time, well, one of my favorite times. But I think this is such a good idea. I haven't really seen it. I looked online for a kid's capsule wardrobe and I couldn't find anything. Let me know if you guys have seen anything like this. But I basically took an adult one and I will list her in um, the down bar below. The website is the everygirl.com and that's where I pulled this list from and I got this idea and I just changed a few of the items because they're obviously not for boys or they're not for like younger kids. So I revamped it a little bit and I made it my own. I will have a copy of what I've done in the down bar as well if you guys wanna check that out. Now, what is a capsule wardrobe? It's a mini wardrobe made up of really versatile pieces and basics that you completely love together. Now, I just think that this is gonna make things so much easier for you guys to put outfits together. I feel like when I'm getting my kids dressed, this is what inspired the whole thing is I don't have like everything that I need. I'm just like, okay, we have a cute shirt, but then there's like nothing to go with it. And I think it's because the lack of basics. So I think a capsule wardrobe is going to eliminate it for us this year. So number one, you're gonna make your list. And I think it's super important to know exactly what you're shopping for so you don't just go buy random things because then you're not gonna be able to make cool outfits. And that's the whole point of a capsule wardrobe. Now, some things to consider is weather. Um, you know, how hot is it gonna be when your kids are gonna be wearing these items? Um, what your budget is. You want these clothes to be so versatile that they stretch throughout the whole entire school year. Um, where you're gonna be purchasing these items. Are you gonna purchase them online? Are you gonna go to a thrift store? I love these places like, what's the one called? Once Upon a Child. I mean, I bought so much stuff from there. I have no shame in washing stuff and all my stuff back there sometimes, but there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like kids grow so fast, especially babies in their first year. So whatever you have to do, you know, you could find a lot of this stuff in those places. You can go to Target, you can shop clearance racks, wherever it is, but just start thinking about where you would like to start looking for these items. And I've mentioned this website in one of my other back to school videos, but if you're not on eBay, Girl, get on it. I explained it a little bit more in there, but it's basically a website where you're getting cash back. If you're not on it, I don't know. I don't know why you're not. But you're basically getting free cash back on money that you're already spending, and there's no catch. I thought there was, but there's not. So, anyways, let me give you an example of what's listed on here: white tee, white tank, classic button-up, knit vest, shoulder tee, and then I put shoulder tee unique. She had something different on there. Um, Paris graphic tee, ours is just gonna be a graphic tee. Gray tank, sweatshirt, midi, track shorts, dark denim, cape, cardigan, joggers, relaxed blazer, moto jacket, indigo jeans, wrap skirt, high rise jeans, boyfriend shirt, chambray shirt, chambray, sorry, um, jean jacket, denim shorts, distressed jeans, tunic, slip-ons, open toe booties, Chelsea booties, Dorsey flats, and booties. I listed all that stuff and I'm gonna start seeing what she has and I'm gonna start purging because a lot of my kids' stuff does not fit, it has holes, my kids are messy eaters and I'm like, I wanna put a bib on my daughter, she's seven. I'm like, girl. But anyways, I'm gonna start going through all of her closet, going through all her stuff, start pulling out stuff that's too small, ruined, um, or that she just doesn't like anymore and it didn't work out. It's time to start to go shopping. So you take your list and the way I've done it is I wrote everything out and I'm just gonna highlight stuff. 
um, as I get it. And I'm just gonna bring this list with me. And I'm gonna put it, fold it up and put it in my planner and just start chipping away at it. And I'm gonna also screenshot it and keep it in my phone. That's a really good tip so you have it on you. If you forget your plan or whatever, you still have all the information. Start, you know, putting everything off to the side so you know where everything's at. And then we'll get into the organizing later. So now, after you've done shopping, you've got your boxes collected. We're gonna take everything out of the boxes. We're gonna take everything out of the bags. Definitely keep your receipts because if things, you know, something's off or something's not working out, you can also return it. Um, I like to try things on at home, especially with kids. Oh my gosh, it's such a nightmare out with four kids trying to trying stuff on in the dressing room. <sighs> That's a no-no. That's why I love online shopping. So anyways, we're gonna take all of these items, set them down for each kid, and we're going to take tags off, keep them with the receipts, put them in a little Ziploc bag so everything's together. And then we're gonna start washing and hanging and then our next step, we're gonna start pairing outfits. So this is gonna be really fun. I think my, I don't know, my kids love fashion and they love getting dressed, they love taking pictures. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start pairing outfits and then we're gonna take little Polaroid pictures. We're gonna get little photo albums from Amazon and we're gonna start putting in their little outfit ideas so then they can start looking for little outfits. And this is so much fun for kids, you know what I mean? But it also gives them encouragement to get dressed to look good to care about the way they look and you know to have good hygiene because it's all related now we're going to be showing you guys how to take your capsule wardrobe items and make outfits now we're only showing you with a few pieces and i thought that would be best because it only takes a couple items to make some really great outfits jadiana's in a white tee with ruffled sleeves we've tied a black and white flannel around the waistline and paired it with blue jeans now she's in the same jeans, same basic white tee with ruffle sleeves, and all we're doing is adding a black leather vest. It makes it look super chic, and it's a whole entire new outfit. Okay, so look, this is the Polaroid. See that? Okay, so this is what you're gonna look at in your little binder. Do you think this is gonna help you? Can oh, you put this outfit together? Yes, thank you so much, Mommy. I love you. We're taking a basic gray tank, pairing it with the same flannel from earlier and the same blue jeans to make a whole new look. We're taking the same black moto jacket vest from before and pairing it with a new black and white striped t-shirt with the same basic jeans. And it gives her that whole new look. For our last look, we're gonna add a black blazer. It has a little gray hood on it to make it a little more casual for every day. And she just loves it. She feels super dressed up and looks so cute, but with the same jeans. So we made all those outfits together and all it took was a few simple basic pieces that can all mix and match together to make multiple different outfits. Now don't forget to take your picture so you can add it to your photo album so they can see all of their pictures in one place to make outfit making super easy. Now all of these outfits came together so well, she just loved doing it, and now she knows exactly how to pair them together all by herself. So after you guys have paired all your outfits, they have picture examples, you guys are ready to go. We're ready to conquer the next school year, take some amazing pictures, and have my kids looking fabulous wherever they go. Thank you guys so much for watching my back to school shopping and kids capsule wardrobe video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It means so much to me that you're here supporting my channel and that you've made it to the end of this video. All of the info and product links will be in the down bar below as well as the link to my new website. It has everything you need in one place as well as all of my favorites. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell, give your girl a thumbs up. Also, where do you guys like to do back to school shopping? Do you shop online? Do you stop shop in store? I'm really curious. Let me know in the, in the comments below. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.